from Tim in, and he mainly watches the Thunder and, and their pick and roll where they don't actually set a pick, but just kind of push or often touch and run by, usually for a pick and pop. And it looks weird to him. He he says that they he knows that they run a lot of small, small screens, but they do it with Chet too. Can you explain this and if other teams are doing it as much? And Mo, I believe you did a one Mo thing on ghost screens at some yeah. point in the last year. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I was actually going to say that. Like, this is just a ghost screen, and this is something right. every team does. And I think part of it is the strategy behind that is that, you know, the defender's thinking, oh, a screen's coming. The guy who's on the ball and the guy guarding the screener, and they're getting ready to set that. And then, no, he just runs right by, you know, whatever, brushes mm -hmm. by and and whatnot and, and peels out. Then it opens up a situation where then the defense is like, oh, crap. What we thought was going to happen didn't happen, and now we have to adjust again on the fly. And I think that leads to a lot of problems defensively. I think it's a great thing for offenses. I think it's great for OKC uh, with just, you know, with, with Chet being able to shoot. I think it's kind of perfect because it's usually him playing center. It's a big chase in him, most yeah. likely. The, and that's a hard that's a hard adjustment for a big to make on the fly. The the uh, I think the uh, they like Oklahoma City has the the has a good example of it. I think the prime realized example of it right now is Tatum and Porzingis. And yep. you know we we sort of like it, 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 we're we're like oh, is, is Boston actually running anything? And it's like sometimes they don't. And then but that's kind of a bread and butter thing that they've already just discovered early this year. And it's it's what it's what you're talking about. It's putting you know it's okay. Porzingis is probably guarded by a bigger guy. Do you who how do you guard Tatum? Uh, he might actually set a screen. So how does the how does the defender play that? Or do you switch it and now Tatum is going against a big, or Porzingis gets a small on him and can run him into the post, which is something he's gotten better at. And so it's you know I think we Mo you and I uh, this show is actually we we talk about like not loving soft switches, uh, but on like the ghost screen, like it's almost like. You kind of have to. You, you almost it. have to. So it's yeah. so it's almost a if you have guys who if you have a guy with the ball who can shoot off the dribble, it it almost lets you pick your defensive matchup at times. And so that's why it's it is it does if you're used to sort of the the you know the Stockton to Malone, it does look weird and like why aren't they? But it's it well, is, that's what I was gonna say. I yeah. mean, this is just it's a different style of screen it's, right like when we talk about screening we we typically talk about making contact getting yeah, good seals right. and stuff like that like we, when we talk about Aiden and the fact that he never makes contact the ghost screen works because they don't know that the ghost screen's coming right the it, idea is they need to yeah. be ready for either and it's almost like a hesitation dribble you can get the defense to just freeze for a second and now all of a sudden you've got room when you pop or you've got room to drive uh, against that switch it's much closer to like a like a handoff or dribble handoff than it right. is because it's giving you uh it's it's you know to to make a football analogy it's like a triple option because you can you can you, like to the two defenders are having to defend at least three different things and that puts you in um you can you can still guard it but the more options you're making them counter the more chances there is to make a mistake yep. and then with you have if you have you know a great shooter setting this a great versatile shooter setting the screen like Porzingis and, and, and Holmgren is becoming that and a, you know, a, an A plus guy with the ball, like Tatum and Shea, both who are, you know, certainly in the first team all NBA conversation. It's just a very tough action to guard. 